Hello and welcome to Things to Do in GTA 5. This is Channel Jumper. Right, so basically, a few days ago, I was messing around in GTA Online, just doing whatever, right? I remember just how bad some of the motorcycle launch physics are in this game. I mean, yes, in real life, if you hit an obstacle on a motorcycle going head-on at a high speed, you'll probably go flipping over the handlebars. However, GTA and its physics engine take that to an insane level. Like, look at that right there. Boom. Hell, I even got enough height sometimes to pop a parachute. And so, then I went around the map looking for really cool, really, just really cool areas to, I guess, slam into and go flying off of. And this is my favorite one. This is at the end of the, sorry, the airport end of Vespucci Beach. Then that face of the airport. It's a little wall over a, well, channel. That's why this video is called Channel Jumper. And so, if you slam into it at just the right time, you'll go flying. Now, my goal was to land on dry land on the other side without using a parachute or anything like that. Spoiler alert. I didn't make it. This game is a really weird way it treats its physics engine. One minute, it's semi-realistic, the next minute you're getting launched, and then you're getting slammed down into the ground in midair. Now, some failures like that one were entirely my fault, because I didn't really pay attention to what I was doing. You have to hit the wall in a very specific area to get launched. Also, if you guys want to try this and send me like a link to a video that if you guys do it properly, please, I would, I'd love to see that. Um, now, as far as I can tell, the best you're going to get is by using a uh, Carbon RS or other such bike. The Batty might also work, or the Dinka Double T. Anyway, a or a bike that handles well on off-road and sand. The Sanchez isn't quite fast enough, nor the Manchez or Sanchez too, so don't bother with those. Has to be like a, it, technically speaking, it has to be a track bike. Uh, anyway, um, right, right as you get to the wall, lift up your front wheel by holding back on the stick, or whatever you have set for your, if you're, if you're using PC, whatever you have your control set for that one. I play on Xbox One, so I'm talking about the left stick here. Hold back on the left stick and lift your uh, front wheel up in the air. This will give you maximum height. However, you have to get the perfect combination of height and distance. This one I almost got right until you see right here. I hit a wall, basically invisible wall in the air, and slows me down and slams me into the ground. Uh, I was surprised that you was even able to pull a parachute. Um, now, of course, this is not supposed to happen in this game. It's, it's another thing. that It's a sandbox game, so, you know, ridiculous shit will happen. Like that. And I, 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 I tried on a ton of different bikes, as I said, track bikes, off-road stuff, blazers, uh, the Shitaro, for whatever reason I tried that on. Um, I ended up using civilian bikes because after a while, I lost so many bikes into the river, uh, or sorry, into the, well, I guess technically, technically, it's the, into the channel, that I just didn't want to keep spending money on repairing them, so I just ended up using civilian bikes. Also, the Shitaro is one, is one of the fastest ground bikes in the game. I say ground bikes because the oppressor has rockets, I don't know talking about that. But, um, the Shitaro is one of the fastest ground bikes in the game, however, it's just too long, you end up slamming into the wall, uh, too early and killing yourself. It doesn't work. Um, this is, this is kind of a funny little funny, I couldn't get out of the river here, that just wouldn't let me get out. Um, but yeah, this is, it's a really interesting, but yeah, if you guys manage to get this one to work, send me a video, um, if it's, if, if, if you guys are actually viewing this in the Amino community, just let me know, um, about that, and just send, me, send me a video via that as well. Uh, that'd be kind of cool, because I want to see if you guys can do this, because I certainly can't, and I've been trying quite a bit. This took, this, I tried for maybe about two hours today, um, and got various clips. These are not all the clips, by the way, I have way more clips than this, I ended up filming about maybe 110 clips, I think it was. Anyway, yeah, this has been Things to Do in GTA 5, Channel Jumper. Hope you enjoyed.